the most famous quarterback in the NFL. He's like the fourth most popular person on the planet, according to the <laughs> yeah. poll. Tim Tebow's a guy, obviously. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. <laughs> Completely uninteresting to most of our <laughs> some, audience. Some background, please. Yeah. You know, Tim Tebow is uh, somebody who has inspired millions, tens of millions of people, you could say, across this country, even across the planet. He's a guy who, for some reason or another, connects with people. I think, I think it's unique. He's young, he's talented, he was the underdog just to a large degree, and he's connects to people in a very personal way. There's something about getting the chance to touch the hem of his garment. It's an important point because there'll be so many people who will see us do this story who will be skeptical and will say, oh, he's 60, he's just jumping on the ESPN bandwagon and doing a Tim Tebow story. And yeah. Aren't we? Well, we are, but <laughs> the bottom line is, is and I know, I know our conversation's been about him, but the, the story actually focuses more on the high school quarterback than it focuses on Tebow. We've got a story about a young man who, when he was playing high school football, was often compared to Tim Tebow for some of his physical attributes. And something happened to him, which I think you could only describe as tragic, but Tim Tebow came into his life and, and has made a difference. And welcome, folks, once again to Woodbury Forest Varsity Football. It's going to be a big day, that's for sure. And we'll be talking about Woodbury's quarterback, Jacob Rainey. Football is what I love, and I want to be out there playing. This is what I've been looking forward to my whole life. It's a warm Friday afternoon in early September in central Virginia. When you step on that field, you got 113 years of tradition, and there's thousands of men that have paid the price on that field. It might be turf now, but the blood, sweat, and tears soaked right into that ground. The Woodbury Forest High School football team is preparing for its season opener at home against Benedictine of Richmond. And what Jacob's trying to do has never been done, and it's not just Jacob's journey, it's our journey. It started last year. At quarterback, the Tigers will start senior Jacob Rainey. He hasn't played since the injury that altered his life. Whatever happens, he's already won. And what he has done in the fight to get to this point, that's what it's about. The middle of five siblings, Jacob grew up in Charlottesville, Virginia. What is your favorite sport? <laughs> Jacob began playing football in fifth grade. By middle school, he was a quarterback. By 2010, he was a sophomore at Woodbury Forest, one of the most prestigious private schools in the South. And how did you like it here? I like it. I mean, it's about as good as an all-boys boarding school can be. <laughs> Jacob's skill set, in a lot of ways, was more like a Tim Tebow. He uh, could run really well, throw really well. His dream was to play in the NFL, and I'm of the opinion he had what it took to do that. How many schools were interested in you? The main five, I think, were pretty much Virginia, Virginia Tech, Vanderbilt, Duke, and Wake Forest. Then, at the start of Rainey's junior year, on September 3rd, 2011, he and his teammates were playing in a scrimmage in Northern Virginia. I think it was a little play action, just threw it. 40 yards down the field, caught with like one hand, kind of brought it back, and then got tackled on like the 10. In the very next play, um, we're running quarterback power left. Snap. I just snapped it, took off to the left, and like I cut back. And right when I cut back, I kind of used, there's just a guy, I guess, right there on my knee. I just blacked out, and uh, fell to the ground and I just like kind of came to and once I hit the ground I'm just like it didn't really hurt at first it's just like something's not right and I looked down my leg was like sticking out sideways I was like well, shit. the knee had uh, dislocated posteriorly and uh, laterally and there was just this obvious deformity But at the hospital, it became clear that Rainey's injury was far more serious. An artery in his lower right leg had been severed, cutting off circulation. They said, you know, there's so much dead tissue, it's killing his body. 
and we're going to have to amputate his leg. How are we going to tell our son that he was going to lose his leg? Well, Kathy and I just, you know, went in and held his hand and told him. And he was just like, you know, obviously just dropped, as we all were. So, hardest thing I've ever had to do. Football-related leg amputations are, in fact, exceedingly rare. But seven days after the injury, doctors amputated Rainey's right leg above the knee. After the procedure and, like, when, like, I just saw it, that's when it really hit me. I just broke down and just cried. Just, like, felt unable to do what I wanted to do anymore. As word of what happened to Rainey spread in newspaper accounts on the internet, he was inundated with letters and gifts from well-wishers. Christmas Eve 2011, Tim Tebow, then Denver's starting quarterback, is warming up in Buffalo. Merry Christmas, Tim. Thank you, same to you. He'd invited a special guest to the game that day, and just before kickoff, Tebow introduced himself to Jacob Rainey. The first thing, I just ran up and gave him a big hug, you know, I was just excited to see him. And then after being able to spend some time with him, I felt like we definitely had a connection. Oh, man. How you doing, brother? Nice to see you, man. Absolutely. My pleasure. You having fun? Yes, sir. Good. What did he have to say to you? He just told me to keep fighting and, like, just never give up. It always can be worse. There's no point in giving up. More than me encouraging him, he was someone that, that definitely inspired me uh, with his outlook on life, with his determination, and his just belief that nothing was going to stop him and you know, he was going to be able to play again someday. In January, just four months after the amputation, just a few weeks after taking his first steps on his prosthetic leg, Rainey was back throwing. No one has ever played football at a high level with an above-the-knee amputation. What made you think you could do this? I don't know. Kind of want to set a new standard for people with amputations, I guess. September 7th, 2012, one year after losing his leg, Rainey will start at quarterback as Woodbury Forest plays Benedictine in its season opener. We have a lot of camera crews watching this right now. Here we go, Jacob. Now we're looking at Christian Asher. He'll take the ball left. A nice block there. Oh, he's going to circle around. He may go, folks. He's outside. He's taking it in. Here we go. Tigers first touchdown of the season led by Jacob Rainey. Rainey played in only that one series that day. The following week, he didn't play at all. And welcome, folks, to the special Friday Night Lights edition of the Woodbury Forest Varsity Football Network. Then, on September 21st, in the Tigers' third game of the season, he came off the bench in the third quarter. Here comes Jacob Rainey to lead the Woodbury offense one more time. Rainey is the quarterback in the shotgun formation. He's going to launch a throw this time. He's got a man open. Oh, what a He's a wild enough to see over the back. I couldn't believe it happened. I couldn't believe we got him out there. I couldn't believe we had success, kept him safe, completed pass. Um, it, it was just overwhelming. You see with someone like Jacob how much bigger this game can be. And when you go through a tragedy like that and you're able to bounce back from it and go out there and bust your butt accomplishing your dream, is it's all inspiring. I guess from the outside, it looks like I've lost a lot. Losing, like, the opportunity to play college football at a big program, and losing my leg, but as long as I just keep fighting through it, nothing can stop me.